Hello and welcome Fars here. In this video I'm gonna show you how to level up your cold email game with using NA10 workflows and sending mass scale personalized emails. Previously like if you want to send even one of these emails you would need like half an hour at least deep research knowing about the website their awards, their testimonials, so you can take all of that and mention it in your cold email and actually get a response because the people are gonna see that you've done the research and it's not like mass scale sending. And I'm gonna show you how to do this like automatically, how still to generate the list and have a beautiful NATN workflow to enhance this list and to create these emails and put them into smart lead instantly whatever you're using and actually send all of your emails so without further ado let's get started first let's see the cold email traditional approach first we would generate an email list from apollo from ap5 from what else scraper you're using or custom made list we would clean the list, we would write the copy and blast out messages. And if you're good at copywriting and generating a good list, usually you would get nice response rates, but nothing super drastical because a lot of people are getting a lot of cold emails. You get the quantity, but the quality is not there. And you get mass emails, no real personalization. Let's take a look at the SDR approach. SDRs are usually the people working at SaaS companies or B2B companies and they do a lot of research before reaching out to some company. So when they get an email, it's super personalized and they can follow up, they know the pain points and everything and it's a different game, okay? They do the research, they see their intent and everything, they learn about their company, write tailored email, send and follow up. And there's a lot of quality, but not so much quantity. It's super personalized, but not enough volume. The new approach, the best approach actually right now, is the quant quality approach with using NA10 workflows, mass scale, personalized outreach, where we first get the intent. I'm gonna show you like people posting jobs on uh, LinkedIn, Indeed, or whatever. So they are maybe looking for some role like SDR, like marketing or something. So there, the company is expressing that they have intent in growing and we as a lead generation agency can reach out to them and actually mention all of that and make it um, a benefit for us. Besides that, we still generate the list. We do detailed re research through the N18 workflow with like getting their website data, testimonials, awards, and crafting all of that into a really good personalized email with follow-ups. And by this, we get like a lot of quality and a lot of quantity. So we are combining those. It's not a, more about like one SDR can send like five or 10 super personalized emails. But with this, we can send hundreds, thousands of emails per day that are super, super personalized, okay? And the beauty is it's not so hard. Like when you have a good workflow, you still get the list. You put it into the NA10 workflow. It happens more or less automatically. You need to set it up and everything we're gonna cover. And then you send super personalized emails on scale, okay? So you need the list. You can use Google Sheets or you can use uh, Airtable, whatever you like most. And um, what I like to do is actually to use Apify. And uh, because you have two options, you can go on Apollo or somewhere and get a list of some filters. This could work. I'm going to be sharing in different videos how to get that. But imagine like when you have, uh, when you scrape LinkedIn jobs, Glassdoor jobs, Upwork jobs, and uh, let's say you're doing lead generation, business growth, and these people are hiring for salespeople, for marketing people, for growth. And this is expressing the company wants to grow. They're ready to grow, they're ready to invest, they want more leads, they just want to grow. And when you reach out to those kind of people, it's a completely different game, right? You know 
they want to grow, you can mention it in your email besides all the other personalization. And it's really, really improving your odds of success. Okay. So Apefy is a mass market uh, for scrapers. They're called actors. You can Google Apefy, create an account. There's a free and paid account and you're paying for these actors. But you see like LinkedIn job scraper, indeed, Upwork, Glassdoor. So a lot of these like scrapers. I just like, I'm just right now searching for the job ones. And when we use these, this is like the LinkedIn job scraper that we're going to go through. You get like a list of companies. You just like type in here, like your input, output. And then when you come here, this was a run and like job title, like sales developer rep rep representative, job location, total rows, like how many people and you get this JSON code that you can modify and you can like run it through here, get this um, result, just export it as a CSV, upload it like here and you can use it and you can add it to the NA10 workflow or you can have like these uh, shorter workflows like this one where it started on a click and it's connected like uh, through the URL post method and you need like to verify all of this. Don't worry, I'm gonna blur this out so you don't use my API key. And uh, you put the JSON in here and this will actually run this actor. So when you come here, when you click API, you can take this information and actually run it, okay? And when it goes through this workflow, it's a pretty simple one. Like usually these actors need a few minutes to get depending on what's the size. So this one is like 10 minutes wait and then go to the merge, retrieve data set, getting like the information. You just pull this um, expression in here from the data set and you get, uh, you get the, the rows and everything. And then in here, like this is uh, really important with using Apify. And I saw this from Clarence. Thank you, Clarence, for the idea and everything. I had some troubles, but by implementing this, you, I actually can verify if the data set is ready. And if it's, if it's not ready, I can go into another wait round, merge it and make a new round. If it's ready, I would just push it and create a new, new rows in here. Okay. So this is like, uh, you can do it manually generating the list, or you can use these kind of uh, workflows, but this is where the fun starts. Like this is the real deal and uh, the workflow where everything gets personalized. So this one is manual test, but you can test it. You can like, uh, start it with whatever you want. And it starts with the, with the get row node. And then we have the data set, everything before, if you're not familiar with uh, NA10 and credentials, you would need like to create your credentials. I'm not gonna go over that. There are a lot of YouTube videos covering that. And then we have filters here that done is, is like empty because you will see at the end of the workflow, we have this done column that we actually added manually and it sets this true. So each time, if it's true, we won't be having duplicate leads going through the workflow. We will have only new ones going through the workflow and you can actually manually even control this. Here we have loop over items. So let's say hundreds of these get pulled and we have the option like batch size one by one because everything else will be dependent on going one by one and actually not like if more of them go, something will bro break and uh, LLMs like ChatGPT that I'm mostly using will spend uh, too much at, uh, at a little time and they will break, okay? So LinkedIn Company Scraper is the next one. We basically take the company URL and then 
we remove the HTML because uh, when we get it from here, let me run one test here. So when we get it like this, you see like there's uh, a lot of HTML and everything in here. And then we are using this function node. Basically, I'm not a coder, but I tell ChatGPT what needs to happen. And then this node will remove the company. Like everything, I will just get uh, the URL from all of this. And I'm using ChatGPT here just to pull this information in here. And uh, you always need to use the expressions. So the plain text that we got put it in here and here's a little prompt based on the provided LinkedIn profile and then find the company name mentioned in the profile, locate the, web the website URL and expected output should be like this. And then we have a function node to remove www so that we have a clean domain in here and the next step is using any mail finder. It's a tool, you can Google it, we can use different ones as well but uh, I like this one because it has the decision makers API and everything and I'm using the decision makers API which is like two points maybe but what it does is actually like you need to set it up obviously create an account I'm not gonna go through that and when you set it up and you send the headers and everything you can have the JSON in here and pull like CEOs and decision makers and you actually get the email from the decision maker. So this person is the co-owner and CEO in here and we can um, get this. So if it's false, if this company is not on an email finder and we cannot get it, then I don't want to proceed with the whole workflow, but I just loop it back and take the next row and it goes through this. But if it's positive, then we go into the next node where we get the company URL and then we remove the HTML so that we get a clean without HTML and these meta tags. So it's easy for the LLM to process it. And then we are going into the research phase where we have this get recent growth milestones and we have like text here. You are an expert in asserting, analyzing business information. Your role is to interpret the scraped content from a company website. And this is the actual prompt. Analyze the following data from the company's homepage. Identify testimonials, recent growth, success stories, ensure the output is structured. And we get, uh, we get this. So basically from the website, this is the research process and we get information. Then we clean the company name because in doing all of this, you don't want like to be reaching out to companies and saying like, I don't know, Tesla Inc or something, no one reading like that. You want just a clean company name, get the first name. So not only like the full name or something and then we have writing the first cold email, writing the follow-up and the second follow-up. And in here, we are like giving the first name, company name, the result, the success stories. And then we have a prompt where we tell it what it should do. And then uh, using these like brackets. So usually it pulls the output without the lines, everything's together. So with this prompt we actually get it with the spacings and everything and using this um, template which is really good and um, a friend of mine mentioned company name i've been meaning to reach out like you're making big moves congrats on the result so this is the variable that will be pulled by the way so you got some SDR roles open and I figured I'd drop your note. I run an agency specializing in cold outbound and we can handle outreach at 15x the, the pace of a typical SDR. And then here will be personalization and stuff like that. And then we create the first follow-up, second follow-up 
we upload it into instantly and we like create the done true so that it can loop back and start with the other one okay so this is how it would look like by testing it it goes one by one like one lead at the time one row at the time and creating the email and uh, adding them to instantly updating the row and then going in circles so it's uploaded here it updated and then it's going for the next round okay let's do two and then we can take a look at the results but basically this process that you're looking right now would usually take you see it didn't find the email it just looked back and then other company okay this process would take half an hour one hour for a good sdr researcher or even more and here we are just talking about it it's taking seconds and actually doing all the work which is really the beauty of this kind of workflows okay let's stop it here and yeah let's take for one of these persons so jared ceo and founder from blink and then it scraped the company it's dirty in here it removed the all html so we get everything in here it got recent um, testimonials bam 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 it got in here like um, probably the success story and stuff like that that we can use and then it cleaned the name the company so it's only blink without something else first name it wrote the the call the email hey jared a friend mentioned blink tap 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 congrats on the impressive growth you've seen especially being great 4.9 out of five on over 100,000, 40,000 reviews and having more than 2.5 million users. So you have some SDR roles open. I run an agency and then the pitch. Okay, so this part is super personalized, right? And it's for each of them. So like this one, meaning to reach out, congrats on impressive testimonials you will gather. So you will got some SDR roles and stuff like that. So it will be personalized as much as possible and then first follow up as well personalized and second follow up okay and these are like automatically uploaded to a campaign in instantly and you just like pull the variables in instantly like subject one message email copy one and then create the campaign and each lead when it comes it just starts off and everything happens like automatically so yeah I hope uh, you find this useful and you can actually use it for yourself that you get some inspiration how you can build stuff like that but yeah for us it's a big big game changer yeah if you want to learn more about this stuff join my school community and um, yeah like share subscribe whatever you can do on here thank you for watching and see you in the next